on this episode of Picker Road, we're changing things up. It's early morning and we're going thrifting here in Vegas. We're going to start the day with an amazing breakfast. Wait till you see what's ahead. And as always, we're going to take you along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. That's right. Today we're starting with our treat. It's early and we all want some breakfast. So we're going to Hash House A Go Go. This place is amazing. There are five locations in Las Vegas, but they're all over the country. So if you know there's one nearby, you've got to try it. They have an incredible menu, but their specialty is Andy's world famous sage fried chicken and waffles, an Indiana tradition. And boy, does it not disappoint. Look at the size of this. To be honest, one of these was enough for all three of us. So we're going to share. It's time to dig in. Oh, look at that. Hot syrup on fresh waffles with some fried chicken. No better way to start the day. Yum. All right. Now that we've had a fantastic breakfast, let's get to thrifting. Okay, so Will, they've only been open for about eight minutes, so I'm hoping we're going to find some real goodies today. Let's get a cart. All right, here we go. All right, let's head right back to the hard goods. Okay, let's start out in the glass section. Pretty colors, very colorful. Looks like Fiesta. Let's see what do we have. Oh, look at those. I think those are much older. A little country scene, the covered bridge. There's only, appears to be only three of them though, so that's not really a good set. What is that? That's strange. Ah, and it looks like it does something. So it probably needs batteries or something. Here's a big uh, tumbler with old cars on it. Leave that. We have all sorts of margarita glasses. And down here we have wine glasses. That's a pretty, that's a nice unusual twisted stem. Unmarked. There's two of those. Let's keep on looking. Oh, we go right into the mugs. And we're looking for cat mugs. We're looking for cats because we're doing a sale on Wednesday the 23rd. Cats, cats, and more cats. Lots of cats. Let's see. Nashville Music City. Let's see down here. I'm looking to see if I see anything. It's pretty colors. Salt Lake, 2002. Olympics. Olympics, of course. Do you see any cats? I'm looking. That's a teacher's mug. Looking back here. What is that, Will, back there? I can't reach it. It's very faded. Very faded, okay. I couldn't tell whether it was a little kitty cat. Uh, look at this. This is funny. With a picture frame on it. Put a little picture in that. And down here, do you see anything at all? Not this time. There's a big turkey platter. Thanksgiving's going to be on us soon. Turkeys aren't cats. I, I know. Ooh, look at that. That is, oh, it's unmarked. I believe that's transfer wear. So with all this tape on it, I wonder if some of that would come off. It's not marked, so I think I'm gonna leave it. What is this? This is a, a brie baker set. Yum. So you warm your brie in that, and you have your wood tool to scoop it out with. 
Let's see what else we have. Lots and lots of dishes. We have some large chargers that you would use under your dishes to set your table. Let's see what else we have. That's quite an interesting little carafe. Not marked. Okay. You know what that's for? No, tell me. I believe it's so you can like see if I can pick it up right. You're supposed to put your thumb down there. I can't reach. Oh, like this. Okay. So like that? Exactly. Ah. It's an interesting shape. The problem is it's got a very big chip right there. So we are gonna have to leave that. A little dish here. What does it say? Breathe. Breathe. Um, look at this tall green vase. I'm really looking for spectacular pieces to put in our, our booth and to sell and whatnot. Let's see. We have some gravy bows. Ooh, look at that. That little bunny picture. He's awfully cute. Let's see if I see any chips. I don't see any chips. We're going to be doing an Easter in August. I think he'd be fun. Yeah. I like him a lot. It's not extremely high quality, but it's enough that I think he's really fun. Let's see if we can see where he's made without, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for him. He's cute enough that we'll just go for him. And here we have, I don't think they would glow their hazel. That's not logo, right? No, I think it might be hazel Atlas. Again, I'm, I'm learning, I'm still learning about certain brands, and I think this needs to have a, the sugar would need a lid. Um, it's a little bunny dish. Yeah, he's a very inexpensive little piece. But these guys, you don't have your black light, do you? I don't. I can go get it. So let's give it a test, William. See what you got. No, I don't think so. No. no. Well, since I really feel that the sugar is missing a lid, it's got a lip in here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Thanks for checking, Will. Appreciate it. Let's see. What else can we find? We have bottles. Liquor bottle from West Germany. I don't think we need that. And what do we have here? What is this? I think that's some, oh, it's an elephant. You see his little eyes there, not very well made. And that is an awful lot of wear right there. So I don't think we're gonna get into that. What are these down here, Will? They're plastic. How strange. Little plastic champagne toasts. And these are a form of kind of coaster slash hot plate. And what is this? I think that is a, a tea, tea bag strainer, tea bag right? Strainer. Huh. I think. Very lightweight. I don't think that's very old. Let's see, what else do we have? Random makeup here. And what is this little guy? It's a little spoon and we have some coasters that are a little bit beat up. Let's look down here and see what we've got. Anything of interest? We've got a, oh, it's a napkin holder, but it's missing the salt and pepper. And we have a, what looks like a hot plate Kind of poorly crudely done though okay so let's let's head over here okay so now we're kind of in the floral section oh he's a donkey i think he's a brahma bull because of his hump there but he's kind of messed up poor guy and that's plastic and this is signed uh, let's see, it's just kind of like a decorative 
tin watering can. Doesn't really excite me too much. Let's see what the vase is. Ooh, is that a cat? Not very good cat though. Okay, let's keep looking. This is all a lot of clear. Oh, what is this marked? Uh, Rosno of Poland. Poland. Hmm. I want four ninety nine for that. Crows know. Well, I'm going to have to take it. I don't know that name, so I am going to have to take a minute and look that up. So we looked it up, and it is a known product, a known brand, but they don't sell for that much. And as we were looking it up, I noticed there's some little microchips around the edges. I just don't like that feel, so I think we are going to leave it. But while Will was looking that up, I spotted a cat. I mean, I think that's a cat, don't you? The last time we sold one, it was a cat. It was a cat. He's just absolutely precious. He's a little vase or plant or whatever you want him to be. And I'm going to pick him up. Oh, look what else I see, William. Look at the little mushroom. Oh, he's wonderful. Look at that glaze. I'm going to pick him up, too. Wish there was some more. Do you see any more? I seem to always get a mushroom here at this particular Goodwill. Let's see what this is. Made in, hmm, can't see, China. Okay. All right, let's go around here, Will. We have a warmer here. It looks like it could be, a, it is a Sensi. There's the name. Uh, I already have one in the boutique, though, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. Down here, Will, we have a bunch of pretty contemporary lamps. I don't think anything there looks very vintage to me. Just looking as we go, looking all around at the lampshades and lamps. And here are some Hot Wheels. And some of these I know can be extremely collectible, but they really have to be the older ones. And you know what, I just do not know if is there I a know, date? If I know my Hot Wheels correctly, they yeah. sell those for about $1.50 a piece, and they're two for five ninety nine. So that's not that's too a good. Hashtag Goodwill fail. <laughs> goodwill fail. That's funny. Oh, look at this little lantern here. That's just like a home's, home goods piece, but it, I just like the little flower scroll work. If that was really an old piece, I'd want to pick that up. But I think it's very contemporary. And hashtag. hashtag. We just have some woven pieces here. A little divider piece. That's handy for a desk, maybe. Let's see what else we have down here. Oh, we have a leaf dish. Let's see if there's any name on it. There's not. But that's an inexpensive piece. So we'll we'll go ahead and leave that. Moving along, moving along. Oh, some pretty little painted wood pieces. They're just common pieces that you would find. Little bird houses, decorative. And little signage everywhere. And that is all broken. It looks like it might have been a dragon that we could have continued our dragon theme with. And look at this gal. Don't think she's anything remarkable. Ooh, that's heavy. Unmarked, unbranded. Let's see what else we have. So we make our way through the wood section. We have a, a little chicken piece, just a composite piece. So I see a little heart box and it's the tree house in Redwood, California. A little redwood box, a souvenir piece. And what is, let me get that lid back on. What is this here? We've got, oh, isn't that cute? It's a little baby Mickey, and it says baby's first tooth. And here we have some salt and peppers from Oregon. 
and then a little good luck cat with the little arm that moves. So the question is, is this a good pickup for this little box? Looks like the looks like it works. I think I think that box is really fun. I don't know if it's oh it is Disney. Official Disney. I think that's tiny treasures right there. There's tiny treasures all day long. Now was there something else? No, that was just extra plastic. So I think this is definitely worth picking up for four ninety nine. Let's go ahead and put this in our cart. Let's see what we have here. I can see already that there's a chip. So I think that actually I think that might be just a hobbyist mold piece. Double check, yeah. And look up right here. Look at this fellow. He's a a mask. Did you put a little candle behind? How much is he? He's unmarked. He's very lightweight. I don't think he's anything special, but he is interesting looking. Let's keep on going down here. We have some easels. And right here we have a little tin box, let freedom ring. A little box there. And we have just, what does this say? It is Pewter by Mulholland. A little pewter piece. Looks like the hammer fell on it. It is. It's extremely bent up. And this piece is pewter as well. Pewter as well. So I think we're going to leave those. They're not very good shape. And we have here, we have this is plastic. It's probably a little child set, but it's plastic and not very well done. Let's see. Well, here's a cat. Little cat frame. Oh, the part that would hold it up is broken. I don't think that would be good for our sale. And these, again, these coasters, you always want to check. Everyone says it. You just want to check to make sure they're not sterling. I've actually not seen a sterling one in a very long time. I'm just going to leave that. What is up here? I see a plate from Subin. Subin, obviously European. And that says that it is, I can't see that mark too well, can you? I'm guessing it's a German mark or something. It looks like it. That's a very specific piece, very specific tastes. Oh, look at these, these stars with the little rope handles. And this basket here. I have quite a few baskets in the boutique, so I don't want to get any more right now unless it was super special. Hold on. Yes? What you doing? Sorry, I just wanted to play a little game of cat and mouse. <laughs> okay, and here we are. We are in the Christmas section. Oh, look at those. Those are quite something. They have... Christmas balls filled with Christmas tinsel. I wonder how old those are. 2004, so they're not terribly old, but they are very festive. Down here we have a Christmas reindeer. Oh, he's fun with his googly eyes. He's $1.49 only. He's great. Um, the problem is that he's kind of big to store for Christmas. So I think I'll leave him. If it was closer to Christmas, I'd probably pick him up. Let's see what else we have. There must be some treasures here. I'm always hopeful. It's an older looking Santa. I thought he might be a nice Midwest piece, but he's unmarked. Not to say he's not, but I don't think he's that different. Let's see what we have up here. Just a little plate from 1997. We have a little sleigh and he looks like he was part of a salt and pepper. I don't see the rest of it. Looking up here, see if I see anything. Let's see. 
Come on, Will. Christmas cat. Haven't you sold this before? Oh, that's so funny. It's a unicorn. Let's see who makes that. Opal House. I'm pretty sure we've sold that before. Really? I feel like it was colorful, though. If it but... doesn't have any chips, I'd pick that up. Yeah, it feels pretty good. We could put that in the boutique. Yes, indeed. All right, we'll get that. And what do we have here? We have... Hogwarts. Hogwarts. It's all it's all worn off on the front, though. Aw. Okay, so we're going to leave that then. What is this? It's Sammy, Sammy Davis, Davis Jr. Jr.'s greatest hits. Okay. Nothing says Christmas like that. Well, maybe, actually, maybe there are some Christmas songs. And we have just some little pieces of cloth. Nothing much to speak of. And down here we have some lampshades. Boy, if you're looking for those, they're sometimes hard to find. That could be a good pickup. Oh, look at that. Is That's not a Barbie bathtub, is it? It's pink. Doesn't say Barbie, does it? No. Our generation. By Patel. All right. And we have a. I'm trying to get to this piece of glass here, with the moon. Oh, I don't. It's very chipped on the top. I just saw that. Okay. So here, we have these little figures. Uh, let's keep going. What is this? This is just a little ornament type piece. And what's back here? Let's dig a little bit and see what we find. Oh, we have a little nativity scene. However, the bag's been opened, so we don't really know what they put in there originally. Let's see what else we have here. We have some dolls, European looking dolls. Let's keep going here. Oh, look at this little vase. Made in China, very crudely made in China. Little mailbox with a bird. And let's see, we have some coasters here. They're very chipped. Not gonna get into those. Very, I don't know what that is because it's not a candle holder because it's open on the bottom. Certainly not a vase. Let's keep going and see. Oh, is that the Eiffel Tower with rocks inside? Looks like it be, might be. Oh, and we have a, a little flamingo ring dish. Uh, I don't think it's a very valuable piece, but what is this here? That looks like it could be Native American. Nope. Oh my goodness, it's so broken. I have a project piece there, hand-painted. Up here, what do we have? We have a, a bunny and a strange-looking little bird. Very strange-looking. Almost looks Disney animation, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have a Emmett Kelly Jr. clown. Yes, it is signed. And how much do they want for this? They want $4.99. Now, I know clowns are a very divisive collectible. Some people absolutely love them, and some people do not. You know what aren't divisive? What? Owls. I know. He's a hoot. Oh, look at the giraffe. Oh. oh. Are we buying a giraffe? I think we are. He's marvelous. He's a handmade glass with vegetable ivory beads and my goodness he's looks like he's from ecuador he's wonderful can you imagine him as a sun catcher can you get that wow make sure there's no chips oh i think he's marvelous let's get him absolutely and looks like we have a santa in here and what else do we have? We have little decor for a bathroom or so forth. Let's see what we have here. We have some sort of quail. 
have a little chipped statue. No, this one's not good. These are very inexpensive pieces in here. Do not like that at all. What is this? Some sort of base for something. I don't know what that is. I'll dig a little bit here. So what we've got. Nothing there. What is this? This is what I spotted. These are decals of some kind, it looks like. It's a horse. Oh, it looks like the maybe the Kentucky Derby with a, a rider and the roses. Run for the run for the roses. It's a run for the roses centerpiece for the Kentucky Derby. Hmm. That's fun. However, that derby's always in May and It'd be a long time before that came around again. Oh, look at this, Will. A snowball launcher. Mm -hmm. It sells for $10 and Goodwill wants eight. So I think we're gonna leave that. Oh, look at this giraffe. Got another giraffe. Babies are us giraffe. And we have all sorts of little goodies that they have put in bags. Now this, the Clipper Carol Ann, it looks like an old tin to me. Very old tin. But I think we're going to leave it. And what is, what are you? You're just a, he's all chipped. He's all chipped. Uh, let's see what else here. It's a teapot, but it's all broken and missing its top. A little happy Easter up there. Mm, what do you, this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But it's very inexpensive, very light, very lightweight. A little, little clock ornament. And let's see, we have a, a little blue vase. And what else, what else? Natural light. Not sure what that is. Oh, look at this. I mean, it's like the shape of Glassy Baby, but of course it's not. So close, but yet so far. Let's see. Oh, look at the Winnie the Pooh. No, just a bear. He's it just does a, certainly look like the color, right? I know, he did. But he's just a bear ornament. So I think we're going to leave him for right now. Got to look carefully because this is the place you find little treasures. And what's this? I think it's a little bit big for a perfume bottle. It does have a stopper. What does this say on here? Anything? Just a number, it looks mm, like. Seven ninety nine. That's a little bit much for that. I couldn't do that for resale. And here's a little trinket box, five ninety nine. That is, I don't know. It doesn't it's beat up. thrill me. It's very beat up feeling. Ooh, look! Here's some more of those. Every time I see it, I think it's a glassy baby. Let's see what else. We have little dishes. A little duck hot plate. Very beat up on that one, too, though. Let's see. Let's look down here. Do we see anything down here? Any interest? I don't see anything down there. All right. So shall we maybe take a little run and look at the art? All right. Look at that. That's a little transfer piece. What does this say? It's Teleflora. Not that that's bad. It's just that I'm not interested in that. Okay, we're in the art section. Let's see what this is. Look like Big Ben, I believe, mm -hmm. but no, but I don't think so because look at the village around it. That doesn't, I don't know. I can't, that doesn't look correct. Okay, I have some Ann Gettys. <laughs> they always make you smile. And this piece is print. It looks like a Degas, but I don't believe it is. And let's see what else we have. You don't want a Justin Bieber poster? Boyfriend. I don't think so. I think I can do without that. And we just have some print on canvas. 
that's a pretty piece. That looks like an original signature actually on that. Let's see if they have anything about the artist on the back. Um, they don't seem to. I have so much art already. Oh, let's just take a minute and look it up. Well, we had to look it up. It's a live signature, uh, 1993. However, this particular artist and this piece doesn't sell for that much. So we are gonna move on but it is a very, very pretty piece. So let's keep going. And this is not an original. It is a photograph on canvas. See if we see anything. Something very Americana. If we were coming into the 4th of July, that would be a nice piece. And who is this? This is TCR 1000. Very fun little. Americana piece. What do we have here? Some flowers. And keep looking. Isn't that the Treve fountain? No, that's not. Yep, that's Is it the Treve? Ah, yeah, oh, the Arc de Triomphe. We were just right here. And what is this? That's strange looking. It's a TJ Maxx piece. All right, we'll keep on moving. Look at that frame. It's plastic. It looks like it's, you know, the, Victorian ebony. the Black Forest in Germany or something. And there's Rome Coliseum. And let's see. We have some sports. And oh, that's that's kind of an attractive piece. Eiffel Tower. OK, well, well, we've got a, a few little treasures in our car. Let's go ahead and check out and let's go hit another Goodwill. I'm feeling lucky. How about you? Let's do it. Okay, let's give this Goodwill a try and see what we can find. Let's, let's head right back to the hard goods. Okay, let's see what we can find. A little piece. Hmm. No signature. I think it's just a production piece. I do see these little guys over here, though. Aw, let's see if they have They're any a hoot. They have any name on it. They don't. They're very inexpensive, unfortunately. Their eyes aren't painted very neatly. Ooh, what does the fox say? Uh, that's a fox, not a cat. Hmm. It's a Walmart piece. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Looks like a little candle holder with someone's name on it. And these are very heavy little votive holders it looks like and up here what is that William does it look like a Native American piece is it signed it is signed it is signed uh, something feather little feather let's absolutely take that I like that a lot and let's see we have a little penguin oh he's very light he looked like he might have been crystal, maybe Shorosky, but he's not. And down here, we've got all sorts of little figures. And let's see what this is. Oh, that's plastic. And down there, oh, look at that bird play. Little Christmas birds, little robins, it looks like. And look, we have Blue's Clues. He's so cute. And what's that back there? Ooh, have a mask. Oh, it's a pretty fancy little piece. It's $4. It's kind of got some wear on it though. The feathers look like they've seen better days. So I think I'm gonna leave that. And we have a little apple salt and pepper. Again, very, very crudely made. What do we have here? A little bride and groom photo frame and a bunny. What does this say? The time to be happy is now. Isn't that true? A little egg piece. Fun looking. What do I have? What do I have? And this is a, looks like it's a little hand turned wood set, but it's very lightweight actually. Nothing, well this is light too. And that is uh, 
made in Japan. I have a lot of vases, so I'm going to leave that. And down here, it looks like we have a baby Jesus. Looks like it's probably from a nativity set. And a baptism candle. We've got some cigar boxes and look at this piece. What does that say? Uh, I can't even read that. It's, it is crazed. I think I'm gonna leave it. I think it's gonna bring too much of a profit. And now we have a little accent candle holder and oh, he's little toothbrushes hedgehog of some kind to hold things oh i thought that was that's uh i thought that was like crystal that's plastic very lightweight plastic okay let's keep on going here oh look this little flower oh it's broken right there too bad okay again in the vase section william could you reach that with pleasure I'm trying to see if that's old oh it's a teapot with out a lid. It is Japan, so it is old, but it doesn't have its lid. Let's look at this little piece right here. A very light production piece. And looking and scanning. Let's see, and we have a amber bottle without its cork or screw cap. It looks like it has a screw cap. It's a, that's a little giraffe. Hmm. Kind of crudely made, unfortunately. Let's leave that piece. And let's keep going here. This has a big crack in it, this piece. I'm looking up and looking through all these vases. See if I see anything. This one is kind of heavy. Let's see what this... It is an FTD. All right, so I'm going to leave that, obviously. And then down here, it looks like all we have is some standard, one-of-the-mill floral-type vases, which, if you needed a, for an event or something, would be a great pickup. All right, look at this piece. Is this... Oh, that fooled me. It's plastic. Well, that's that. And now all of a sudden, just like that, we are in the Christmas section. It's beginning to look a lot like it. It is. We've got a Santa Claus oven mitt. And how much is that? 69 cents. Brand new. That's kind of fun. And I'm sure we're going to do a Christmas show, and he would be a excellent giveaway absolutely so i'm going to put him in the cart he's a nice old-fashioned looking santa let's see what else we have here oh we have a a winnie the pooh stocking holder with piglet so it is disney but they went eight dollars for it so that would not leave me any room let's see what is in this little bag here some little ornaments doesn't look like anything vintage or of interest. Okay, so we're now kind of entering into the metal section. Look at this, it's a fossil tin. Now, no watch. No watch, but these, these tins do well on their own sometimes. Mm. Oh, it's bent, it's not too bad. I wonder if you could bend that out. I have a fossil watch that could use a tin, but, ugh. I don't think you can bend it enough. I think I'll leave it. What is this here? Drinks on you barware from Stemless Hallmark. Stemless wine glass. Let's see what that looks like. I like to open boxes. Ah, there you go. Boss lady. There you go. $2.99. And let's see what else we have. What is that? That's just very lightweight something. 
Okay, let's keep going. We're into the metals now. We have a little welcome piece, a nice hook to hang a wreath on. And Eiffel Tower. Ah, a little Eiffel Tower. Oh. Trying to see there's no breakage on it. These always do well. People always like these. How much is it? It's only $1.99. Oh, why not? Why not? And these are mustard and ketchup. Little holders. Let's see the bottom of those. Do they have any markings? They are Gottinger. Little Gottinger pieces. What did the hot dog say to the bun? I don't know what the hot dogs say to the bun. You better catch up. Mmm. Bada bing. All right, so more metal serving pieces, lots of them. Looking for anything that could be vintage or silver. Dare we, dare we dream? Dare we dream? Asher. It's a custom named. Custom named little Middle Eastern looking piece. And that's heavy. And that is Reed and Barton. Look at that. 19... 1967. Yeah, now the reason why that looks like it could be a trophy, mm -hmm. but yet it's not in silver. Hmm. Whatever it is, she did well. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Um, it's an inexpensive tray. We have a little butter dish with what looks like a flower, somewhat abstract. And what does this say? This says it is Oneida Silversmiths. A little vintage butter dish. And just have some random shells hanging around. Who doesn't at this point? Really, you know? All right. Let's turn the corner and see what we've got. These look like bases for project pieces. Oh, we have a little British bear. What's in here? Breezy Valley, the gift only for the best. Oh, okay. That's nice. And, and all sorts of strange little boxes today. We have here, we have a Bless This Home, little hanging angel. Let's see. Wow, this is quite a base for something. Too bad there's a split in there. That might have been truly interesting. We have a little box. Looks like the kind that Christmas ornaments come in. Never. Never trust a skinny cook. Obviously, they wouldn't eat their own food, maybe. Let's see. And that is a... Can't really quite tell what that creature is. If you I know mean, what it is, leave it in the comments. We have a kind of a sugar skull type wood plaque. It was $4.99 at Ross. What is this up here? We have classic martini. Just a little metal sign. That was, I can't really see any original price. They want $4 for it now. And let's see what else we have. These are interesting little, pot, uh, what do you call them? Um, pot holders? Oh yeah. Yeah. And made in China, but I don't think they would last very long. They feel very weak. How much are they? Uh, they are two ninety nine. Okay, so there we go. What? So they were two ninety nine here at Goodwill, and they were a dollar nineteen at a grocery store. Hashtag Goodwill Phil. <laughs> oh, look at the. Oh, wow, that's heavy. From Bombay Company. Oh wow. Kind of looks like a torch, but it's very worn. It didn't hold up. Okay, now we're in the dish section. Look up there at that yellow frame. Ikea. Is that Ikea? It is. Ah, I don't remember seeing anything about Ikea. It looks like, it looks old. It looks like it's made of butter. Mm. It looks like a butter mold. All right, we have lots and lots of dishes. I'm 
not interested in buying dishes unless they were something absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to kind of go through fast. Somebody who went to Paris was here. Yes, absolutely. Look at that. Souvenir de Paris. Let's see if there's any date. Uh, it's porcelain, but no date. Oh, look at that. It's pretty, but not nearly as beautiful as the workmanship that we have on some of the pieces that we're offering in the boutique. And here we have some blue wear, blue and white wear. Don't think that is willow. Willow, woods wear. Um, you know what? I would just like to take a minute and look this up. Okay, so we looked it up, and I knew it wasn't super old. Uh, they won ten dollars for it, but you can buy it on eBay for twenty. So by the time we get finished with shipping and everything, it would not be a good pickup for making a good profit. So I'm going to leave that. But if someone wanted it, it's a beautiful, beautiful platter. Okay, so we found these beautiful jewelry vases filled with all these goodies. And they have assured me that there's no broken pieces. William has used his black light and found several glowing pieces. And we're very excited. So we're going to go ahead and take these and we're going to open them live on camera like we do. They're $80 a piece. So these are, these are good stuff. And I can see that they are good stuff. So it's going to be exciting. Stay tuned. Well, we had an amazing morning thrifting in Las Vegas. And we started the day off with a delicious plate full of chicken and waffles. You guys just saw me purchase these incredible vases filled, filled, packed with beautiful jewelry. I can see that they're good. I can see the jewelry. It's not hidden and we are going to crack these babies open live on camera at our whatnot sale on Wednesday, August 16th. So if you haven't already, go over and follow us on whatnot. It's going to be a really fun experience. There's some amazing stuff in here. And guess what, Gary? Some of it glows. So it's going to be fun. I'll have he, my black light out. He, he sure will. So be sure to join us for that again. Our what not sale, 5 p.m. Wednesday, August 16th. It's going to be terrific. And as always, please like us, give us a comment, and always join the journey.